Welcome students. We are given this question. Factor x raised to the power 7 positive x squared positive 1. Of course, most of you would have got the solution to this question. And what I wish to do in this particular question is, I would explore different ways to factor this particular polynomial and ultimately give you another element of proof to show to you that whatever we get or whatever we have received, it is the ultimate level of factorization possible for this polynomial. So that means no matter what solution you have got, you have to justify that you have reached the ultimate end for factoring this particular polynomial. Only then whatever solution you have got holds good. So having mentioned this, I'm going to give you a few methods to factorize or to factor out this particular polynomial. So foremost, what I wish to do is, I wish to start off by stating, let us consider x to the power 7 positive x squared positive 1. Now what I wish to do is, I wish to add x to the power 4 and subtract x to the power 4, add x power 3 and subtract x power 3. So that's exactly what I want to do. So I would write that down. Adding x to the power 4, comma, x to the power 3, and subtracting them, we get. So foremost, let's start with x to the power 7. I'm adding x to the power 4, and then I'm subtracting x to the power 4. I'm adding x to the power 3. I'm subtracting x to the power 3. Of course, x squared is there and positive 1 is there. Now, we have to rearrange the terms. Rearrange the terms. So why do we do that? To facilitate factorization. That is the ultimate goal. So for that, what I wish to do is I wish to write x to the power 7. I want to follow it up with x to the power 4. So this is one term. And then I wish to start up with x to the power 4. And then I want to follow it up with x to the power 3. And then I have exhausted positive x to the power 4 and negative x to the power 4. So positive x to the power 3 is there. So let me just follow it up with x squared term. And then I want to place my x to the power 3 term and then followed by 1. So now what I wish to do is I would want to take x to the power 4 out of here and then rewrite this as x to the power 3, negative 1. So this is done. And now I've got x to the power 4, x to the power 3, x squared and uh, x cubed term followed by positive 1. So we need to know how to write that. So I would want to start off with x squared and that means I would have an x squared inside followed by a x and followed by a positive 1. So this is exhausted. Now I've got an x cubed with a negative sign and a positive 1. So what I wish to do is I want to take x negative sign out and rewrite this as x cubed negative 1. Now I've got an x cubed negative 1 term here and an x cubed negative 1 term here. So let me take x cubed negative 1 out. So that would mean I would have x to the power 4 followed by a negative 1 positive. I've got a x squared term followed by x squared positive x positive 1. Now what I wish to do is I would want to use a cubed negative b cubed formula which is a negative b times a squared plus AB plus B squared. So using this formula, this can be rewritten as X negative 1 multiplied with X squared positive X positive 1 times X to the power 4 negative 1 positive X squared times X squared positive X positive 1. Now I've got X squared positive X positive 1 x squared positive x positive 1. So let's take that out. So this is going to be x squared positive x positive 1 is taken out. This would give me x negative 1 multiplied with x to the power 4 negative 1. And of course for this term I just have positive x squared. Now 
let me rewrite this x squared positive x positive 1 times now I need to multiply the term so x into x to the power 4 would give me x power 5 x into negative 1 would give me negative x negative 1 times x to the power 4 would give me negative x power 4 negative 1 times negative 1 would give me positive 1 and positive x squared so I would like to rewrite this as x squared positive x positive 1 I start with the highest power followed by the power 4 and then I've got a positive x squared and then I've got a negative x and a positive 1. So this is the ultimate solution that we can get when we wanted to factor the polynomial x power 7 positive x squared positive 1. Okay, now we have arrived at this solution. Now the most important point that we need to do here is to show to the viewer, show to the reader or show to the audience that this is the utmost extremities that we can go when it comes to factoring this particular polynomial x power 7 positive x squared positive 1. Well, I'm going to show that to you at the very end of this particular video because the fact that that is very critical, right? If you don't show, because some someone might ask, what if I can be in a position to still reduce it? Why are you not reducing this? Or why are you not factoring this out? Or in other words, why are you not factoring this out? There are all sort of questions that can arise. So in mathematics, the best way is to show things by proof. So having mentioned that, let me go on to method number two. This is method two to factor x power 7 positive x squared positive 1. Now what I want to do is I want to now add just positive x and subtract positive x. Of course I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to retain the rest of the term as it is. Now I'm going to rewrite this as x power 7 followed by negative x followed by x squared followed by positive x positive 1. Now I can rewrite this as, I'm going to take x out, so this is going to be x to the power 6, negative 1, followed by x squared, positive x, positive 1. Now I can rewrite this as, I'm going to use a squared negative b squared, which is going to be a negative b times a positive b. And also it is imperative to understand, if I have a term like this, a raised to the power 6, negative b raised to the power 6, I can rewrite this as a raised to the power 3, raised to the power 2, negative b raised to the power 3, raised to the power 2. This is nothing but, imagine I want to just substitute a cubed is equal to some t and b cubed is equal to some q. So this is going to be t squared negative q squared which can be rewritten as t negative q times t positive q. Right? I am just using this basic formula in algebra. So this is going to be rewritten as x times of x to the power 3 raised to the power 2 negative 1 followed by I want to rewrite this as x squared positive x positive 1. Now this is same as t squared negative q squared where t is a cubed and q is b cubed. So this can be rewritten as x to the power 3 negative 1 multiplied with x to the power 3 positive 1. Right? If I were to substitute t back this is going to give me a cubed negative b cubed times a cubed positive b cubed. So that is exactly what I'm doing. Followed by x squared positive x positive 1. Now this can be rewritten as x cubed negative 1 is going to be rewritten using this particular formula which is x negative 1 times x squared positive x positive 1. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is going to be x negative 1 times x squared positive x positive 1 times x cubed positive 1 positive x squared positive x positive 1. I can take x squared positive x positive 1 out and that would mean I got a x times x negative 1 times x cubed positive 1 positive 1. This is x squared positive x positive 1 times I'm going to multiply all of these things. First I multiply these two that's going to be x squared negative x times x cubed positive 1 positive 1. This is rewriting x squared positive x positive 1 times 
x square into x to the power 3 will give me x power 5. x square into 1 would give me x squared. Negative x times x to the power 3 would give me negative x to the power 4. This is going to be negative x positive 1. If I were to rewrite this, I get x squared, posi x squared positive x positive 1 times x power 5 negative x power 4 positive x squared negative x positive 1. Okay. So this is method 2. Now let me show you, let me use this particular space in giving you method number 3. So I want to rewrite, x, this is what is given, x power 7 positive x to the power 2 positive 1 is given. Now what I wish to do is, I would like to add x power 6, subtract x power 6, add x power 5, subtract x power 5, add x power 4, subtract x power 4. And then for the rest of the term, I will rewrite x squared positive 1 in the fashion that I'm going to show it to you. So let's just get started. So let me write x power 7. I'm going to add x to the power 6, subtract x power 6, add x power 5, subtract x power 5, add x power 4, subtract x power 4. So this is basic algebra. Now for x squared positive 1, I'm going to add 2x squared and from it I'm going to subtract x squared. So that's going to be x squared. And I'm just going to retain positive 1. Now I'm going to rewrite this as, now I want to start off with x to the power 5. Now why am I saying x to the power 5? Because I want to have a factor of this form. That's the reason I want to do that. So before I could do that, let me rewrite these terms in a proper fashion. So in this case, let me club x to the power 7 and then next term is going to be x to the power of 6 followed by uh, x to the power 5. So that's that's neat and clear. Next I will place x to the power 6 because positive x power 6 is there. And then I will follow it up with negative x power 5. Positive x power 5 is here. And then I need to follow it up with x to the power 4. Negative x to the power 4, I want to place negative x to the power 4 first and then x power, positive x power 4 later. And then I will just place these other term subsequently, 2 times x squared, negative x squared, positive 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x to the power 5 out. If I were to do this, this would give me x squared, this would give me x, this would give me 1. That's fine for this. And then now from these terms, I would want to take negative x to the power 4 out. So if I were to do this, this would give me positive x squared. And this would give me positive x and positive 1. So this is exhausted. Now, I got x squared. So let me rewrite that down. I got, I mean, x to the power 4 and positive 2 times x squared. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to place positive 1 here and then negative x squared there. So this is rewritten as x to the power 5 times x squared positive x positive 1 negative x to the power 4 of x squared positive x positive 1. I'm going to rewrite this term as x squared positive 1 raised to the power 2. Right? Fair enough. When I expand this, I get the first term followed by positive 2 times x squared, 2 times x squared followed by positive 1. That's fine. Negative uh, x squared. So this, these two terms will give me all of these terms. Now the important point here is this is of the form a squared negative b squared and we all know it's going to be a negative b multiplied with a positive b. Right? So that's what exactly what I'm going to do. So this is equal to x to the power 5 of x squared positive x positive 1 negative x to the power 4 of x squared positive x positive 1. Now a negative b so this is x squared positive x negative b is going to be negative x and then x squared positive 1 positive x this is a positive b now clearly you can see x squared positive x positive 1 x squared positive x positive 1 x squared positive x positive 1 is a factor so i'm going to take x squared positive x positive 1 out this is going to give me x to the power 5 followed by negative x to the power 4 followed by an x squared term and then a negative x term and a positive 1 term. So that's fine. So we've got that. Now I have got another, uh, in fact, since I've just shown you three methods, 
we can go on there are other methods also that could be actually placed in but in the interest of time i would like to conclude this particular question now the most important point that we have to show here is we have to prove that this is irreducible in other words we have to show these polynomials are irreducible so what is the meaning of this now if i were to take a polynomial f of x say in this case f of x is x to the power 7 positive x squared positive 1 then i should be able to write f of x as a product of some g of x times h of x such that the degree of g of x should be less than the degree of f of x and the degree of h of x should also be less than the degree of f of x such that the sum of the degree of g of x added with the degree of h of x should produce me the degree of f of x so this is the basic understanding that's a reason we are saying this is these two are the factors now the most important point here is we have to apply the test of irreducibility in other words we should be in a position to show that we cannot go any further than x squared positive x positive 1 and in this case for x to the power 5 negative x to the power 4 positive x squared negative x positive 1 we cannot reduce this at all this is like showing 7 is prime right or showing root 3 or in, in other words showing that 3 is prime right of course some people may claim that root of 7 is a factor well they have a point but the ultimate point here is we have to make sure that the coefficients are element of integers of course the domain can also be set of rational numbers or the domain can also be set of real numbers okay so the most important point that we need to focus here is the domain in this case if we are going to be restricting our function to set of integers then clearly x squared positive x positive 1 is irreducible in other words we cannot find factors such that g of x and h of x where the degree of g of x added with degree of g of x will give me the degree of this quantity and that uh, g of x multiplied with h of x will produce me x squared positive x positive 1 it's just not possible why i can just show you for x squared positive x positive 1 in in this particular space over here now let me just take this function f of x to be as x squared positive x positive 1 now just find out the factors of x squared positive x positive 1 now make sure that the degree of the factors should not be greater than the degree that is mentioned here so you will have to obtain uh a g of x and an h of x such that the degree of g of x doesn't exceed the degree of f of x so in this case if i were to take the degree of g of x to be 1 then the degree of h of x can also be 1 if the degree of we are not talking about polynomials with degree 0 so the ultimate point here is the degrees of g of x and h of x can only be 1 and 1 right we are not talking about degree a polynomial with uh, degree being equal to 0 no we are not taking in that into account because if we were to take in that into account then it will jeopardize the entire concept of irreducibility so we don't want that to happen so this is not possible so in this case if i were to consider all the factors of x squared positive x positive 1 then i can start with x then i can start with x positive 1 that's the utmost thing i can do further than that is just not possible now if you were to choose say for example x and think that x will divide x squared positive x positive 1 then it's just not going to happen why because of the presence of the constant 1 so i can clearly rule out x similarly x positive 1 is not going to be dividing x squared positive x positive 1 the same claim i can just bring it out here because of the presence of 1 over here it's just not going to happen you can try it out and see for yourself so the ultimate contention for this proof is i would not be able to go further than this for the simple fact that these two polynomials are irreducible 
Thank you students.